After much speculation, we finally know what all the game modes that you're going to initially get in Battlefield 4 are. Hey there broskies, it's Lupus, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about all of the game modes that have been confirmed to be the game modes that you will initially get at the launch of Battlefield 4. But before I get into that, I know you guys are probably wondering about the intro, the new Today's Topic thing, and the new watermark up in the corner and how they come in, all the really cool animations and such. But first, let's talk about the intro. The intro now has been designed by a good friend of mine named Push to Insanity, and uh, he actually was the guy who made my original intro a few months ago, and the only reason I stopped using that intro was because I changed the style of my channel, I changed the way my wolf looked a little bit, and the intro didn't go with it anymore. So I ended up stopped using it, I made my own with advice that he had given me, and my previous intro was actually made by me, but he made this one, and he's a lot better at doing it than me, and I really do like the way the intro turned out, so big thanks to him. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I've made a new intro or had a new intro made because I felt like it would just improve my channel that much more. And as you guys should know by now, I like to improve on things, perfect things, make it better. And hopefully all the new stuff that I added this time around will last for a good while and who knows how long they la they last. Hopefully they last until New Year and hopefully I don't decide to change it between now and then. But who knows, I'm always trying to strive for, for perfection and I might end up happening again. But uh, I also ended up adding new today's topic and the new watermark It with special little effects on After Effects. Make it that much better than they were before. And I hope you guys did enjoy that. But without further ado, let us talk about each and every game mode. So recently they told us every game mode. And with some of them they actually included some really cool art that goes along with it. So first off we have Conquest. And this, really this is really cool just because I like the way the art looks. It has a really cool look to it it just shows the graphic fidelity of battlefield and i'm really just i really do like these images i've actually put some of them as my background on my f computer and i really do like them but for those of you who don't know what uh conquest is it is basically a map where you play on the on the maps as big as they can possibly be there are a certain number of flags anywhere from three to six or something like that and you have to control more than the other. It's basically like domination on a massive scale with a ton of vehicles, jets, helicopters, tanks, stuff like that, and a lot of infantry running around as well. And on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, this game mode will only be able to play up to 24 players, but on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, you will be able to play up to 64 players, and Commander Mode is optional in this uh, game mode. The next game mode they talked about was Domination, and this game mode was actually in Battlefield 3, but they have made some minor changes in, uh, in the game mode. In Battlefield 3, it was designed for 16 players, but in this game, it is designed for 20 players. And as I said with Conquest, the objective of this game mode is to control more flags than the enemy, and in the end, may make the enemy team run out of tickets. And this game mode generally doesn't have vehicles in it, and I'm pretty sure it's probably not going to have vehicles on Battlefield 4 as well. Even though they did increase the number of players, I don't believe they're going to be adding vehicles. But uh, it's definitely a really fun game mode. Fast paced and a lot of action. The next game mode is Obliteration. This is another one of those little images that they made. And this one is really sick. Uh, but what Obliteration is, is basically there are two teams pitted against each other where you are, you both have to try and get one single bomb and attack the enemy's objective and then go through a series of them. So each team is defending, but at the same time, each team is attacking each other. So it's basically a game of whoever can get the bomb and plant the other team's objective wins. And that's how it works. But on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, you will get you will be able to get up to 24 players. And on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, you will, you will be able to get up to 32 players on this game mode. And the Commander mode is also optional in this game mode as well. The next game mode is called Diffuse. This game mode is somewhat of a crossover between Battlefield 3, Squad Rush, and Call of Duty Search and Destroy. In this game mode, you will have two squads pitted against each other, 5v5, attackers versus defenders, but the catch is you only have one life. So, if you are the attackers, you're trying to plant the bomb and blow it up, 
or take out the defending team and the defending team is trying to take out the attacking team before they are able to plant the bomb without dying themselves so whenever you die you end up die you cannot respawn and you have to wait till the next round I'm assuming it's gonna be some sort of best two out of three system where whoever gets the most rounds one wins the game and something like that so this game mode is definitely going to be something very interesting for the eSports arena and for those people who like competitive gaming the next game mode is Team Deathmatch, but it is a slightly different than you guys might remember. While you are still competing against another team to see who can get a certain amount of kills in a certain amount of time, the difference is it will not have as many players. In Battlefield 3 on console you could have up to 24 players and on PC you could have up to 64 players. However, in Battlefield 4 on all platforms, next gen, current gen, and PC, you will only be able to have up to 20 players. There is also no commander. But other than that, it will be a very similar team deathmatch than what, to what we are used to. The only difference is it will not be quite as hectic and there won't be quite as much action going on. And it will be a little bit slower paced. The next game mode is Rush. On Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, this game mode will have up to 24 players. On, on next gen consoles and PC, it will have up to 32 players. As you guys can see, DICE has decided to take a lot of 64 player games out of the system except for conquest because in a lot of game modes it was a little bit overboard and a lot of people would just get frustrated with it the commander is also optional on this game mode and for those of you who don't know what rush is basically there is a defending team who is trying to defend a set of objectives and they have multiple sets so there's a and b bombs where they are trying to defend for from a certain number of attackers the attackers have a certain number of lives that's called their tickets and the defenders are trying to kill the attackers before they can get to the bombs and plant it and move to the next set of objectives the next and last game mode is Squad Deathmatch. And this is slightly different than you guys might remember. It now has 20 players rather than 16 because of the fact that the four squads are now five man squads. So it will be four five man squads pitted against each other. And it's basically a team deathmatch oriented game mode where they are all competing to get a certain number of kills in a certain amount of times. But now there is more teams with less players. So that's all of the game modes you're going to get at the initial launch of Battlefield 4. You are still probably going to get some new game modes that we've never before seen and some more game modes that are going to be returning from Battlefield 3 in upcoming DLCs. But these are the seven game modes that we are going to get at launch. I'm kind of disappointed. I was hoping to see all of the game modes that were brought into Battlefield 3 come back. And then we get new ones on top of that. And, but now they're kind of holding some of these game modes such as Gunmaster and uh, some other maps such as or game modes such as Capture the Flag that we all enjoyed. And they're kind of holding them hostage for a little while until we get them in a DLC. But regardless, I'm glad with the game modes that they have come out with. Some of the new game modes seem really interesting, and I think Obliteration is definitely going to be a fan favorite. A lot of people are going to enjoy playing that, and I'm glad they were able to bring back the uh, Commander mode into Battlefield 4. And I also think the adjustment of the number of players in each game mode is going to be for the better. And I'm really excited for this game. These game modes are going to be fun. And I hope you guys are excited for this game as I am. But if you guys did like this video, be sure to smack that like button. And if you'd like more great content, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.